What's up guys, it's Joel Axby here. Um, haven't been making a whole lot of videos lately, and that's mainly because I haven't had like any orders. Kinda pisses me off, because I ordered all this stuff. Uh, I don't know if you saw the huge Shimlax uh, unboxing. But, I got a lot of stuff out there, ready to string. And I really haven't had any orders. But, um, I wanted to show you guys my gamers right now. These are all things I put together um, this summer, and they're all relatively new to me. Or actually, not even relatively, they're all new to me. And they're all some really sweet setups, so I want to show you it. First off, I have my Mark Matthews setup. Um, by coincidence, it's the same shaft he uses, more or less. So this is the um, Evo X. It's not the Evolite X which he uses, but it's still really close. It's got the same exact pattern that he uses. Great hold, low whip. A nice mid kind of low pocket. It's really a transition pocket. Um, really nice. And, and uh, by coincidence, I have a Cryptolite. It's one of my favorite shafts that I use, and he uses a Cryptolite too. Except his is a little bit longer because he puts down a deep hole to get a little more torque. Um, and here's a nice new one that I'm sure a lot of you are going to want to see. This is the Blade Pro. I decided to treat myself to one. Um, I strung it up with a mid, um, mid-low pocket. Um, another kind of transition pocket, or at least an attempt at one. Uh, I really don't look to get a defined pocket on mine, because I don't like whip. But... Just wanted to show you this. It's got a really nice channel and a uh, really low whip. It's a great setup. It's got great hold too. And I've been doing this thing lately where, um, well, it's been really been working well. I've been doing some interlocks or even SIs. So I'll kind of do like, I'll always do the triangle top string. Then I'll do kind of a loop or an interlock depending on the setup if I can fit another string in there or wherever I start it. Um, here I use some special interlocks so I did like um, I went in and then I did an interlock skip special interlock um, skip special interlock <coughs> and here's the part after I do those three interlocks what I've been doing lately and it's been coming out really nice in the way I want it for kind of a mid mid low pocket I've been doing a one, two, and a three. It makes a really gradual um, incline for the ball to come out. Um, so it makes it a lot less whippy. Um, and it makes it really smooth. Um, and in between, I skip to one hole. I don't like to use every hole all together. It kind of bunches up and stuff. Unless I have to. And there are times where I will, just because this is a head that has really convenient sidewall holes is one thing I've liked about it so far there's a lot of sidewall holes on it and they're really conveniently placed to where you only need to use half of them um, pretty unique head uh, so far I'm really happy with it it's got a nice pinch it's not too pinch for me though um, I don't like a very pinched head uh, and really happy with the way this turned out just uh, two straight and a U and I just threw um, a nylon on top of that and I had a long top string, so I just used the end of that. It's one of those warrior ones that comes really long. So um, this might be my main. Right now, I, it depends. I've, I've just put these all together recently. And now, I just made this one today, actually. Um, you guys probably remember my Maverick Wonder Boy, the Carolina. Um, don't think you can really get this anymore. Well, all of this, actually. You can't really get a Carolina guitar, so this is kind of a... Uh, unique and kind of rare head uh, setup because it's got the gate torque. Uh, gate torque's really nice. It's got a a nice scoop uh, that helps with accuracy too. And I put a deuces setup on this, which is just the two straight across, a five diamond U, and a three diamond U. Um, kind of like a P43 pocket or P34 pocket. Um, this is the deuces pocket, just with that setup. Um, 
and I might start adding into that the one, two, and three. So I'm gonna make that the deuces pattern um, from now on. So it's got the two straight, the five diamond U, the three diamond U, and it's got uh, three interlocks or knots, and then a one, two, and a three, and then a single to finish off. Um, it comes out really nice, just a, a very low whip, high hold pocket with great ball control. Very, very accurate. Um, just the ball just nestles right on it, and uh, got a Corona butt end. Um, kind of a summery kind of stick. Uh, really nice. Love to play some beach locks with this, which I might be going to the beach locks tournament. We'll see. And uh, yeah, so those are my gamers. So I got this one still. Not sure whether I'm gonna hold on to this or not. Make me an offer you can't refuse on the head, because I know a lot of you have <coughs> asked about it. If you want the FOX of the Mark Matthews, um, let me know. I'll consider it. Um, the Warrior Cryptolite, I consider um, getting rid of, even though I've had this for forever and it's been really reliable for me. I think I'd probably want to hold on to it. Um, if you make me an offer on the Wonder Boy, I'd probably sell this. Gate to work, keeping it, no doubt. Um, oh yeah, by the way, I never said this, uh, Blade Pro is on a gate ice. Super light, um, a, a really nice shaft, and I love the butt ends that gate has. I wish they had them on every stick, because you just know where the end of your stick is all the time. And it's got kind of a, a nice texture grip, where you really don't need tape, um, but I always need tape at the bottom, so I added a little bit there, just for a little bit of ball. Uh, control on the stick with your gloves. Um, I don't know, it all depends what you like, but I just kind of like to roll up the bottom. I don't like too much tape, and tape always seems to come off, so down here is just about right where I need it. And just to swag it out a little bit, I put some bolt shooters on it. Really nice. Um, like I showed you earlier, I have a lot of bolt shooters. Uh, video's gonna end. Thanks a lot for watching. Please subscribe.